those of us who had been working with the ministries to the neighborhood felt on the one hand they were very good. We had uh, established uh, lots of relationships with our neighbors, but we also felt after a time that there, there must be more. Uh, what attracted me to asset-based community development? I would say Wendy McCabe. As you talked about the different models for ministry that church, some churches minister in a neighborhood. Uh, well, that was Northminster when I came here. Some churches minister to or for the neighborhood. Well, that's where Northminster had grown to. And in her model, ministering with the neighborhood uh, is authentic mission. First summer rec started uh, last summer, summer of 2012. Um, and it actually started through Embrace Richmond. And basically, uh, through the listening stages, um, they found out that a lot of parents and a lot of young people felt as if they didn't have anything to do. Um, there wasn't a lot of positive things going on. Um, they wanted um, a safe space to come and have fun and to be enlightened and to be encouraged. Uh, from last summer, um, started to build a lot of relationships with a lot of different kids from the community. And they continued to come throughout the year to real talk with it, which is our uh, youth ministry. Being involved in the co-op has given me the opportunity to develop one-on-one -on -one relationships with people in the community, um, working with them in the co-op and in the meetings and planning. You get a much uh, fuller appreciation for them learning about them and their families and it's helped me understand the community better not just sitting inside the church seeing people come in and receive help. My name is Kenneth L. Burnett Sr. I'm the chairperson or the head of the shopping team for the co-op. Being part of the co-op has changed my way of seeing this church. In the past I only knew that they existed here, but now I see them as part of the community because they have really, uh, I feel like, embraced the community. You know, they, they've invested in the community and really uh, impact my view greatly. As Northminster began to build relationships, they began to hear the same thing we started hearing in the neighborhood. So many people needed jobs. And so they took the next step and started creating what we call now jobs. Church allowed me to hire people on a minimum wage status to do work around the church. People from the community is helping you get your life together by create by eliminating some of your obstacles. He was, he was such a help. I, from that point on, I said, anybody that needs yard work done, anybody that needs any miscellaneous work done, I've got the person for you. I don't think we prayed for our neighborhood. Um, or if we did, we were praying for people to come to our church. And a lot of times it was tempting to focus on the parts of our neighborhood that were more well-to-do. Um, which is not where we're connecting now. Now we're praying for our neighborhood regularly. Um, there are several people from the church who have come to the prayer, weekly prayer time um, on a regular basis. And we walk the streets, and we walk the streets with our neighbors, uh, with people who are from that area, and pray together uh, for God's healing. It would have been hard to picture that 20 years ago. So God's really done some amazing things to start to bring us together.